All right, beautiful people, how's it going? I am Patty Jack playing Pamela today. This is an early access first person shooter. Looks uh, a little bit uh, almost Bioshock ish, if I'm being honest. So we're gonna see exactly how this goes. I'm 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 on I'm honestly interested in this one. You know, it seems like it's got a bit of promise to it. So we're gonna give it a shot. And uh, of course, since it is in early access. We gotta give it, like, the benefit of the doubt that's gonna fix any problems that we see, but we're gonna talk about those problems if we run into them anyways, as we usually do. This, um, should be treated as a first impressions of the game, considering it's my literal first impressions of the game. But it does look interesting, so let's go ahead and, um, take a look-see. Okay, so it took about five minutes or so for the game to load. I'm going to assume that that's like a early access thing more than anything, so we're, we're just going to ignore that. Um, Alright, so we're in the game now, and it's kind of woken us up in this weird-ass room, and I don't know what to do, so let's find out. We got tab to open our inventory, we can scroll around. I like this inventory, this little arm system they got is kind of neat. We got an inventory here. Alright, so we got a lot of stuff we can fill up with what I have no idea yet, but we're going to find out. We have different things we can equip and stuff, too. That's kind of neat. I like that. That's pretty cool beans. Okay, how do we get out of here? Um, tab does not work. F. F seems to be my flashlight. Um, oh, there we go. Shift is the key for some reason. That's a little bit odd, but I'll, I'll deal with it, I guess. Kind of looks like I'm in a doctor's clinic or something. Maybe I'm in a dentist office. Oh, God. Hedging. Hedging. Okay, it's fine. We're good. All right, we gotta get out of this room. I'm assuming that's a keypad. Okay, I couldn't really see it, kind of like, the reflection was weird. Uh, this game's running in the Unity engine, by the way. What the hell is that thing? And it looks pretty good. You know, Unity can look really good, if you know what you're doing. So I am goodsies with that. Yo! Robot? Are, wait, are you a robot? Um... That awkward moment when you can't tell if Cyborg or not. I'm going to assume Cyborg. Can't really do anything to her. She seems to just be content being dead or whatever. Looks like we got some other areas in here. Let's open up this one. You get a mouse when you look at things that you can interact with. That's kind of neat. Um, question mark there that I can't seem to interact with. Oh, the game is frozen. Well, that might not be good. Um, oh, no, nope, it crashed. It, it just instantly crashed. That's, that's nice. All right. Um, let's go ahead and close the program then. And go ahead and relaunch it and try again. And see what happens. I hope it, um, hope it works properly this time. That'd be nice. Again, this game just came out in early access. I'm not going to be super... Uh, weirded out by it. The volume has reset though, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. There we go. It was still at the same level, it just like it didn't apply to it. That happened in Poltergeist as well. The game, like every time you restarted it, the volume reset, but it was still set to the same thing. It was really weird. Okay, let's continue and see how long it takes to load this time. I really hope I don't have to sit through all that again, because it was literally like five minutes of me sitting in this loading screen. I'm not even kidding. I had, like, an entire conversation about my, um, my VHS copy of Tremors. That's what we were talking about. I like Tremors. It's a good movie. It's got Kevin Bacon in it. You know, it's interesting and stuff. But, um, you know, five minutes of me talking about Kevin Bacon. Not exactly the most interesting thing on the face of the planet here. So I feel like we're just going to wait it out this time because it seems to be doing the same thing. So I will see you when it decides to load in. Alright, so we've loaded back into the game now. Uh, it took about seven minutes or so, so I, did, I didn't want to make you sit through that. That would just be annoying, if nothing else. Okay, let's go around and explore and not try to activate any health kits, because that seems to uh, crash the game at this stage. There's another dead cyborg robot thing in there. wonder what that's all about. Can I interact with this? There we go, okay. No crashes now. 
Oh, okay. It says, Alert! Possible widespread contamination. Many reports have been received in the recent days that are indicating a possible affliction of unknown origin and effect. Well, that's not good. We are advising residents to remain within home within their home whenever possible and to maintain distance with all unnecessary individuals. Chronic migraines, fatigue, stiffness or soreness of joints, abnormal growths. Well... Her joints look pretty stiff, and that's certainly a very abnormal growth out of her eye socket, so... Yeah. Is that the, um... I think that's the same model in there, so I don't know what that's all about. I'm assuming early access, but, you know. Okay, let's open this door, please. And see what's over beyond. In the darkness. Turn on our, turn on our flashlight. I'll give this game credit. The flashlight seems to work like a real flashlight. <laughs> it goes more than five feet forward, so that's nice. A lot of horror games and stuff nowadays, the flashlight will go, like, two feet, and then you won't be able to see anything beyond that. It's like, that's not how light works. Not quite. Uh, okay. Can I open that door? Does not seem to be so. There's a lot of glare on the flashlight when you aim at things, though. Unity, in general, seems to have a lot of, um, shiny... Assets and objects when you make things especially with the lighting and stuff so you know what I'm not gonna open that because last time there was a question mark thing that I tried to activate it you know killed the game so that's good oh uh, we got another another very stiff jointed person here Ugh, that's gross all right let's see what else is around yonder I think this is a first person shooter like, I would be inclined to believe so. Can't pick any of this stuff up. Um, an avocado? I'm taking that. Nice! Okay. I now have an avocado in my possession. That's the best first-person shooter, of course. Can I eat it? Unique fruit filled with monounsaturated fats and protein makes for an excellent meat replacement in smaller amounts. Well, let's go ahead and eat that. Can I... I can use it? There we go have successfully eaten an avocado, and I am 100% okay with that. Let's go and explore around then. Turn our flashlight back on here. Oh, that's so annoying, you can't see anything. Uh, I can't interact with that, I don't think. It says I can, but I kind of can't. Eh, whatever. I'll just ignore it and sprint a little bit. Uh, hi there, people. Seems to be exclusively women in this place. Are they robots? I can't tell. Like, they look very gray, but that might be their decaying flesh, which would indicate that they're in fact not a robot. I don't even know. I do not know. Okay, read this thing. The sun rises, oh, it's voice. Nice. And the cyanotrope begins to glow faint blue. I'm reminded that only a day, not a decade, has passed. Okay, that means nothing to me. Uh, pillow? Can't interact. Flashlight, guide me to places and things and stuff. This better not be one of those atmospheric games. There was guns in the screenshots I saw, I swear. What is beyond there? Oh, hitching again. I hope. Oh god, did the game crash again? I swear, I'm not loading this game again. That ain't gonna happen. Game, you're gonna load. You load right now. Game? Game, don't test me. Don't test me, fool. I ain't gonna have none of that. Ain't having none of that. I think, I think the game killed itself. Hmm. Oh, we're good. Never mind, we're fine. Okay. We're goodsies. Let's open this. I assume this was like a store... Or something. Ew, this is very gross. And disgusting. Oh, I got a Facebook message, I think. Been talking to one of my college professors. She wants me to, um... I think, like, do a Skype interview or something for the class. I was like, yeah, I'll, f I'll feel like a famous person. That's pretty cool. Because I'm not, I'm not in college anymore. I graduated. But they do, in, like, an entrepreneurial class, and they're like, Oh, YouTube's entrepreneurial. I'm like, yes! Yes, it is. Nod and agree, folks. When in doubt, nod and agree. That was the thing I discovered in college. It's like, 
no matter what profession you're in, no one knows what they're doing. Like, 0% of people know anything about anything they're doing. They just kind of go with the flow and see what happens. So I discovered that, and then college got a lot easier. Wasn't the best student. Kind of, like, picked and chose what projects I put effort into and stuff, and, you know. Pretty broad topics that I was talking about that we were doing in college and stuff, though. Uh, power switch. Let's turn something on. Interesting. Uh, okay. Can we turn all the lights on? No? Is it not gonna work? Huh. Well, I tried. Still nothing really going on around here, but you never know. I'm actually interested in this game. Like, it, it seems to be crafted well, you know? <laughs> like, there is stuff in it, I think. I just want to figure that out. Okay, left button to attack. So we got something we can fight now. This has now become a shooter. Left alt to block. Okay, I can do that. Uh-oh. Ugh! It's like a Fallout ghoul with a mohawk. It's got those 90s frosted tips. Get out of here. Get out of here. I can hold space in a direction to strafe dodge. That's kind of neat. Okay. I like that. That's cool. Is there something else around me? Uh-oh. wonder if there's stealth mechanics in this game. All right. Let's take a look at this thing. Well, I, I kind of can't. Um, okay. Oh, you got some cool stuff. Okay. That's like a stim pack. Let's pick that up. Um, solar charger uses improved solar arrays to comp to competently charge an ion core slot into the attached bay okay so there's weird stuff milk nice exceptionally rare drink produced from bovine pastures on the eastern steps drinking milk is seen as an indicator of status oh that's neat cool we're moving up in the world and we got some money as well good cool 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 i can dig it let's take a look at our inventory here uh status Okay, so we got our health monitors right there, too. That's kind of neat. Uh, we got the weather. Partially cloudy. Cool. Good stuff to know. Now let's go take a look over at the... Cryo Clinic. I don't know what that means. Cryo Clinic would be like... Kind of the, the pod I woke up in, right? You'd be frozen in there or something like that? One would assume. Hmm... This is a very dark game. Like, this this game is extremely dark. Kind of in a good way, though. Like, it, a lot of games, they're like, Oh, you're in a house, and it's dark outside and stuff. But this one's like, hey, you're in, like, an abandoned sci-fi station where all the lights are off. It's gonna be dark as shit. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting. Kind of like the first level in um Halo, or in a lot of the Halo levels. Like, it, it's dark as hell in that game. Combat Evolved, at least. That, that's the one I played a lot of. I guess I can't go anywhere in there. Alright, let's keep exploring. Keep looking around and stuff. We're in the Ark Medical Bay. Kind of thought I'd find a bunch of medical supplies, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Can't open that either. Is this seriously a dead end? God damn it. I wanted to find things. Yeah, I can't interact with these. I want. I wonder if that question mark is like a placeholder for, uh, like, future things they're going to put in the game. That is entirely possible. I can open this door. Let's go ahead and do that. Ah, stairs. Nice. There is one problem with, like, this kind of landscape being completely dark, though. It's like, where? how do you find out where you're supposed to go? Because this is like a, like a house is one thing. And as much as I hate it in houses, it's like, you can figure out the layout pretty easily. It's like, okay, it's like a two-bedroom house with a bathroom and a half or something. Oh, God, did it crash again? God damn it! <laughs> okay. I'm not loading this game again. Like, that's not happening. That is not something that I'm willing to do, so... You're gonna have to deal with that. Um... Overall impressions... This game is in early access. There's going to be bugs, there's going to be crashes, there's extremely long load times. What I did get to play of this game, the limited amounts I got to play, is actually kind of intriguing and interesting. I'm not giving it a thumbs up, because you can barely play the game at this stage, but if this seems like something that you're interested in, I actually would recommend keeping an eye on it until it's like way closer to release, because they got a lot of things that they obviously need to figure out. 
because um you know crashing like this it, it, it's it's not very good not something that should be happening but again early access that's what happens okay are we good good i'm gonna go drink some milk and feel like a nobleman <laughs>